Hey guys, are you at peace with your past 100%? The way to be at peace with something and really free of something is not to pretend that you don't care anymore. Pretending, avoiding, hiding, will only make everything be suppressed and everything that is suppressed sooner or later has to be fucking expressed always 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 in order for you to really feel at peace with something you must not ignore that something ignoring it will only make it bigger even if you don't see it even if you don't perceive it unconsciously it is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and it is going to impact the rest of your life and the rest of your relationships until you don't decide or until you decide to make peace with the past completely and with everyone involved and you decide to look at the value and you decide to look at the beauty in it and you decide to look at the perfection of it and not just think about it but to really feel it to really believe it to really know it and here's how you know if you're really there if you're really perceiving the value and perceiving the uh, incredibleness you can know if you are in that position if you can relate to your past or relate to that situation in an amazing way, in a very beautiful way, in a very loving way. If you can't do that, if you're not there, then you're still caring with that and you're taking it with you everywhere. So it's your choice, I mean. People tend to do one of two things with inner conflicts with the past, with situations that were very hurtful. They either want to avoid it, they don't want to think about it, they want to hide it, they want to fucking suppress it. And as I already said, everything that you hide, everything that you ignore, everything that you fucking suppress, sooner or later will be expressed. It is a law of the universe. It is not my fucking opinion. This is a fucking law of the universe. Now, the second thing people tend to do is, and you will carry that everywhere, and all of your choices are being made from a place that is not authentic, from a place that is not honest, from a place that is not really uh, genuine and powerful. It is the truth. Every decision that you make, if you're not at peace and if you're not feeling love and if you're not having a beautiful relationship with your past and with anyone who was involved in it, if you're not there, then all the decisions that you make today and tomorrow are decisions based on lies basically because you're lying yourself you're lying to yourself about something because the truth will always make you feel peace the truth will always make you want to have an amazing relationship with uh, whatever you're relating to lies always make you feel good for a while they make you feel stronger they make you feel more important more enough more powerful more in control but at the end of the day they don't really make you feel at peace from the past and therefore every decision that you make now is being made from an untruthful place and that is not fair for you, that is not fair for your past, and that is not fair for your life and your future and your present. 
So you're going to make the choice. Are you going to keep hiding from the truth and avoiding something and ignoring something and suppressing something and pretending that it's not important? You will keep living in a lie. Even if it doesn't feel like a lie, it is a lie for your unconscious mind. And your unconscious mind controls 97% of your choices, of the things that you do and feel. Now, the second thing people tend to do is fight against something. Fight against that which they don't like. We've all done it. And fighting, even though we tend to celebrate people that fight against their problems and they fight against their conflicts and they fight against their challenges, fighting is not very admirable. In fact, you always lose when you fight something because you get tired. It's exhausting to fight. Something smarter than avoiding, ignoring, pretending that something it's okay pretending that something's not important, pretending that something's not a priority, or fighting against something. Both of those things are not coming from your true self. Something smarter is using and taking advantage and really taking all the fucking juice out of every situation realizing the beauty of something, realizing the value of something, realizing the magic of something, whether it was painful or whether it was something that uh, made you feel a uh, pleasure. When you realize the truth about something, all you see is love, all you see is beauty, all you see is magnificence. If you are not there yet, then you're lying to yourself. I've lied to myself a lot. That's why I know. So you want to realize all of the beauty about something, all of the magnificence about something in order for you to really, 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 not just consciously, but unconsciously and every part of yourself to really feel free of it to really be at peace with it and to really make genuine and authentic and powerful decisions from now on. I love you. I appreciate your rocket and I'll talk to you soon.